What's going on guys and welcome back to another Destiny video. We're going to be taking a look at the weekly reset. First off, we're going to be taking a look at the Nightfall Strike, which this week is the Wretched Eye Strike. And the modifiers that you're going to have are Arc Burn, where Arc Damage from any source is greatly increased. Brawler, where Guardian Melee Damage is greatly increased. Ironclad, where more enemies have shields. And Exposure, where Guardian Shields are increased but do not replenish. So this week, with Arc Burn, obviously you're going to want to go with an all Arc layout uh, for your primary. The only thing you can use is Hollow Supercell. It's the only primary that does elemental damage with the Arc Burn. Uh, going into the boss battle here, the only thing you're really going to need to worry about are those shanks that drop in from the ceiling because they do deal Arc damage, so you're going to want to take them out immediately. Uh, the boss does void damage, so look out for him because it is powerful but it is arc burn weak so those shanks dealing the arc damage will be what you need to worry about for the most part moving on to the siva heroic crisis playlist the modifiers for this week we have specialists where special weapon damage is favored exposure or guardian shields are increased but do not replenish and airborne where players deal more damage while in the air so doing anything uh, for Titans, maybe using the Imperium Bellicose, uh, pop that with a Sniper. You can get off some pretty good damage there with the Specialist perk. And also just a reminder, this is where you can also get those Radiant Treasures to get the additional uh, ornaments for some of the exotic weapons. So next up, if we're going to head into the Challenge mode on the uh, Challenge of Elders, or yeah, Challenge of Elders, You've got the um, modifiers this week are Berserk and Specialist. And the bonus modifier is Grenade Bonus. So if you want to go in, you know, burn through some of these encounters, try to grind for some of those exotic engrams by killing the boss, you can, uh, like I said, make sure you use tons of grenades, you'll get them down quick. And use a sniper as well, it should melt the boss pretty quickly uh, with the bonus um, damage that you're going to be getting with the specialist perk. Alright, so next up we're going to be taking a look at all of the weekly bounties. Starting off in the reef this week, Varix has the following bounties for the ch uh, Prison and Challenge of Elders. First up, we need to earn points in the Challenge of Elders. Next, we have to use grenades to get 40 kills in the ch Prison or Challenge of Elders. And then lastly, we have to use Void Abilities to get 30 kills on enemies in the prison or challenge of elders just a reminder doing uh, these bounties will rank up your house of judgment reputation and barracks can drop you up to 390 light gear moving right on to petra venge her three taken bounties for this week we have the one that you need to search out is you have to kill darnu horn of oryx this is out in the cosmodrome next you need to kill 12 um, consumed named Fallen Hive Cabal or Vex in the Cosmodrome and then lastly go out kill 100 Taken and that can be done anywhere so you can get all these bounties done in the Cosmodrome this week that's nice you can just head out to patrol get those bounties done again ranking Petravenge up also get you uh, her set of the Queen's Guard armor up to a level 390 light okay so next up in the tower, we're going to go visit Lord Shaq, see what his weekly Crucible bounty is for all the PvP players out there. And this week, you want to head into the Crucible and complete games in Supremacy. So for this, you need to complete 7 matches, get 50 primary kills, collect 50 kill credits, and then collect 20 crests denied. So just a reminder, the crests denied is... Uh, when an enemy kills one of your teammates, but you pick up your teammate's crest before the enemy is allowed to pick that crest up. And again, this is a Nightfall tier reward, so this can be all the way up to level 400 light. So make sure you get in there, play those matches. If you do complete 7 matches, uh, like the first part of this bounty that is required, you should have everything else completed. Okay, to wrap up the weekly bounties this week, we're going to be now in the Iron Temple. We're going to go over to visit Shiro 4 and see what his four weekly bounties are for the uh, Iron Lord's bounties. So first up, we need to use the Battle Axe to kill 100 enemies. So go into the uh, Archon's Forge or go into Patrol Mold on the Plague Lands and do those uh, quarantine patrols. And you should be able to knock this out pretty easily. Next up, we just need to complete 10 patrols on the Plague Lands. Uh, then we have to complete four shank encounters and complete four vandal encounters those both in the archon's forge so if you haven't noticed or haven't seen this video before the way those encounters work in the archon's forge there are three level difficulties the fused gives you one completion 
the enhanced gives you two completions and if you are able to complete the perfected seed of offering that will give you a complete four uh it'll give you four completions so you can get that done in one match next up we're going over to visit tyra Karn, take a look at what her artifacts are for this week so to do that you need to complete her uh iron lords or artifact quest by just going out and doing noble deeds out in the plague lands uh, so as far as the artifacts, first we have Memory of Temur, where this will have the uh, melee attacks on minions of the darkness have a chance to temporarily turn the target against its allies. Next we have Memory of Radagast, that's where you gain the ability to reflect energy-based projectiles when guarding with a sword, and you also get increased sword ammo capacity. Lastly, there's a Memory of Galeon, which grants a detailed radar, and radar persists when sighting with primary weapons. Alright, and then to close this video out, we'll talk about going into the Wrath of the Machine this week. So if you're going into the Wrath of the Machine raid and you are interested in doing challenge mode, this week's challenge mode, we're back to Vosk. And this can be done on both normal and heroic mode. And to complete this, what you need to do is go in, take Vosk down in three damage cycles, and that's because you need to activate all four clean rooms uh, each time you damage your in total, you'll uh, activate all four clean rooms, and to do this, you need to close them using the SIVA bombs. If you want a full tutorial video on how this works, make sure you stick around to the end of the video, where I will have a link to a video of how I completed it, how uh, what you need to do, and the rewards you can expect to get, but also check the um, description below. I have a link to that video down there as well. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this week's weekly review. Make sure you hit that like button if you are enjoying these. It lets me know that this is a good format. I'll keep putting these out each week as they come out. And like I said, if you're interested in the weekly uh, challenge mode for the Wrath of the Machine, check out the Vosik challenge video being linked here. Also, check out this crazy Crucible gameplay I had from the Iron Banner this past week. Uh, it's really, you know, I ended up getting a double kill, but how I get that double kill is what's really impressive. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you back here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.